Tuesday night baseball on the show as you get a look there at Rogers Center here in Toronto. Tonight, game two of this three-game interleague series between the San Diego Padres and the Toronto Blue Jays. It's Blue Jays baseball, and it's on its way next. Marcus Stroman gets the starting assignment in this one for the Jays. What do you have for us on him, E.K.? Yeah, guys, in his last start, he won his ninth game of the season. So he's going for double digits here in this one. Corey Spangenberg strides forward, and we are set for baseball here this evening. For San Diego. That one. Now, I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. Yeah, a nice job there as this one gets right up the middle to start the ball game. Always nice to put a guy in the stretch, right? On a good curveball, gets him swinging for wrap number one. And here's a chance to look at the starting nine for the visiting San Diego Padres. Eric Caros, who you focused on? Well, I think the guy to watch is Matt Kemp. He's been a menace to opposing pitchers lately. He's hit four home runs in the last ten ball games. Drew Pomerantz is on the mound for game two. EK, what do you got? Well, guys, take a look at that whip. Around 1-3, which is pretty much league average. So he's been very serviceable all year long. Troy Tulowitzki comes to the plate to lead things off here in the bottom half the of the first. Right. A stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Yeah, and the pitching really let them down last time. Too often their guys were falling behind and having to throw fastballs on 2 and 0 or 3 and 1. That'll catch up with you after a while. Well, that curveball is going to be an important pitch for him to locate going forward. This one's not terrible, but it is over the and a strike to even the count. 1 and 1. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Well, accuracy is always appreciated with umpires and Fillmore, he's no exception. He'll miss one here and there, but it's really pretty rare from what I hear. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Missed with the curveball there, and he falls behind a 2-1. and one. Smoked on the ground up the middle. A step on the bag for one. Back to first, and they'll take care of Batista as well. It's a... Brett Wallace will stand in as he'll get a break from playing the field and be the they DH the here in this one. Right three. And this is swung on and missed as Wallace becomes out number one. And with that, let's give you a look at the defensive alignment for the Blue Jays. It's brought to us by Majestic. EK, what do you got? Well, Matty, they've got one of the best defensive shortstops, actually the best all-around shortstops in the game in Troy Tulowitzki. Very athletic, makes that play in the hole as well as anybody. Kind of reminds me of that guy, Derek Jeter. Can't wait to see him in this one. In front of the plate, and it's one and two. Well, he might have just said, look, you're going to have to take this one because you ain't fouling that one off. And that'll get down for a base hit. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. And defensively, it's brought to us by Majestic. Eric? Well, guys, we get to watch Derek Norris behind the plate. Very athletic, versatile, doesn't let anything get by him, and also pretty darn good offensively. Any team would love to have him. Alexi Amarista will dig in, and this season certainly here's the nothing in two. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called, and that's going to be out number one. And I can tell you, from facing guys like this my whole career, you may think you're getting a curveball, but when a guy's throwing in the high 90s, it's darn near impossible to sit on one. Devin Travis will stand in for the first time now, and he's got that average. See if he's going to pick it up in this game. Takes this the other way to right. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Just an outstanding play out there by the outfielder. And the guy who appreciates it more than anybody is the pitcher. Because if that drops in, you're looking at some trouble.
shot at the right time. One away. One away, and here's the 2013 American League Rookie of the Year. The power hit. Get him to look at strike one. Why not go back to that same pitch in the same part of the strike zone, and they catch him looking again. Boy, and he's come out with a plan against these hitters, and he's executed that plan to perfection here early on. That's seven in a row now he's set down. At the plate, Brett Wallace. He looked to bounce back after striking out his left in the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Three up, three down for San Diego. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. Well, Matt, they're the Jays, currently best in the American League in that category. And it's always nice to know that at will. Alexi Amarista makes his way to the box to lead us Diego. off in the sixth inning. Sure. Even now at two and two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. And the way this guy's pitching, you can bet these guys are thinking, hey, goodness, he's over in the other league. I, I hate to face him three or four times a year. Once is way too much. Stepping in now, Travis Jankowski. As he'll go after the first. Stayed out of the middle of the strike zone. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. And you know, pretty much one through nine, they're just not executing right now. I mean, there's nothing all that remarkable about this pitch or, or even the location. But he's not even close to making contact. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. And two. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Back here at Rogers Center in Toronto. Neither team denting the run column quite yet as we look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. Striding into the box, yes, Brett Wallace. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, and hopefully he got that out of his system. They really need him. To... Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Martin finishes it off Ladies with the tag to end the inning. The Add another zero as it's up to seven shutout innings so far. Bottom of the seventh. Get up and stretch here in Toronto. And we still have no score. Down now. Josh Donaldson will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Back goes Kemp, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. The batter, number 10. Edwin Encarnacion digs in, looking to send something into the outfield that gives that go-ahead run a chance to score from second. Well, no complaints on this end, guys. You've got to love any game that's this tight this late. And nope. ball four now as he'll take first on the intentional walk. Yeah, they decide they don't even want to mess around with this guy. <laughs> with his track record, it's hard to say you blame him. Let somebody number eight. Derek Norris will dig in now. He's lined out and flied out in two. to watch where his location is. That's probably the bigger concern. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. Matt Slider's been an effective pitch for him, no doubt, as you take a look there, what his pitch breakdown looks like so far. John knew, but he holds back. It's one and two now. Got him. Dropped by the catcher, though. Martin gathers. The throw is in time. Just ahead of the runner, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for San Diego. We are still scoreless. City. Alexi Amarista ready to take another shot. Went down on strikes. 
swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Under it is Bautista as he makes the play for route number one. Now left fielder. Travis, Travis Jankowski, Jankowski will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Liner towards second. A flip from short right gets him and there are two away. Corey Spangenberg will dig in. Took a cold third strike in here with an even 100 pitches. Swing and a liner back through the box. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. Matt Kemp strides to the plate with two gone. At least move the line and get it to the next guy. It's not really easy to score a guy from first all in one swing. Here comes a Toronto skipper out toward the pitcher's mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. He'll depart with our score tied. And he'll still be accountable for the runner at first. And the best he can do is a no decision in this one. Joaquin Benoit will be summoned here as he'll try to get the final out to keep this game tied heading into the bottom of the ninth. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. One left for San Diego. Still no score. Russell Martin will stand in again. He's flown out in each of the. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Hard liner towards short. And it's a base hit. So there you go. The potential winning run aboard to start off the home half of the night. Troy Tulowitzki comes forward to hit with the winning time is called and a very wise decision here with the potential winning run at first they'll opt to put a little extra speed on the base pass. Hit hard up the middle and that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. Here comes the Padre manager up out of the dugout heading for the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll leave with a couple of runners aboard that are his responsibility, meaning he'd be happy to get out of here with a no decision. Ryan Buckner will come on now in an awfully tough spot as there are two on here with nobody out. Buckner. Jose Bautista will stand in now, hitless to this point, but with a chance to be a hero here. Well, he knows better than anybody in that lineup that one swing could make up for a whole game's worth of struggles. Runs up to Bunn here, but he missed it for strike one. Squares around and drops down a good one. And they put the tag on him for the out. But meanwhile, both runners are able to move up a base. Yeah, a nice job there to give himself up. You see, they put the tag on him as he's running the first. That moves two guys into scoring position now. Only one out. So coming to the plate, Josh Donaldson. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And there's ball four. So the bases are loaded and we'll see how the infield decides to play it here. And for as hot as this guy's been recently, this is a no-brainer. Take the bat out of his hands any chance you get. Edwin Encarnacion will get a shot here in a bases loaded situation and you'd have to say they've got the right man for the job up here. Yeah, team leader in RBIs. He's got a shot to push that lead out even further if he could come through here. It swung on and hit in the air. 
Catch made here in medium deep right center and the runners breaking from third. And the Blue Jays are winners in walk-off fashion. Well, you really just needed to get something up in the air here, and this one does the trick as he drives in the winning run here on a sacrifice fly. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he was really overpowering guys out there. Look at the line score. He winds up with 11 strikeouts, and he definitely was a deciding factor in this one. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. The Blue Jays come out on top, one to nothing. Good night from Toronto.